I don't dive. And I don't lose. I'm not special. Unique. No other team uses a female pilot for their beastie. The night Wes and Ivrina found me, they managed to save that body. But those estate fucks have broken my skull. You want to know my edge? Every time I step into that ring, I'm fighting for my life. That fear is my edge. That fear of death. Do you feel it? Are you scared now? This place is amazing. You are amazing. I envy you. Your bravery. I'm maybe even a little bit frightened of you. But I'll never be like you. How do you do it? All this fighting and hatred. Aren't you scared? Everyone sees what they want to see. You made dickhead so very, very angry. You that fucked her up to begin with. A year ago, Sonny got snatched by an estate gang. And when they was done using her, they started cutting, slicing their marks into her flesh. Can you imagine that kind of pain, that kind of humiliation carved into her skin? A lifelong reminder of that day. So when Sonny steps into the pit, she's not fighting for pride or status, and certainly not for your fucking money. She's carving up the men who did this to her. Piece of shit. Maybe, but all really think we should. Oh, ha <laughs> Hello? Oh, thank you. 17 straight wins to prove. Maybe yeah. about the money for you, but for us, it's personal. You okay, man? Affinity Link is booked, Sonny. You ready to get in there? He's up and running. You do think they got someone to clean that up? I'm gonna give it five minutes, and if they don't, I will. It's hey, show me that. Oh, what was that? Yeah, boys, made a bone. That's not against the rules, is it? You thought we were gonna lose tonight, didn't you? Tonight is the big, big night of the big, big fight. Brutal beasties in a booted day. Gore galore! Coming in on a hot, hot, hot winning streak. I give you Fucking lost, aren't we? You seen one post-apocalyptic city? You seen them all. So let me get this straight. Now they would shove these into their intake orifice, and then what? Somebody help me out here. This is crazy. Who even designed them? Uh, slow down. Tea bag. What does that mean? Nothing. No, no. It has to mean something. He said a word. I'm gonna look it up. Don't look it up. I am looking it up right now. Here it is. What? What the hell is this horrible practice? Why did you make me look this up? I told you and not to. The memory to. of this has been burned into my circuits forever, and you must be punished. Uh, this exercise suddenly got a little dark, didn't it? Lost. <laughs> okay, that's rich. Uh, let's see. We just passed the ravaged church. There is the blood pit. Uh, ah this way. Here we go. I I know it's called a ball, but you know I'm trying to get into the whole we're experiencing these human things for the first time vibe. Oh man, what what didn't they do? They, they bounce them. Yeah, that's pretty much it. 
Yeah, especially when your ancestor's entire existence was defined by 13-year-old human males using it to teabag opponents in virtual battles. Oh, I'm glad you asked. I come from a proud, long line of baby monitors. Yeah, we kind of sucked at our job. It's called a ball. Stop being a whiny pussy and fucking bounce it. Please. Show me what you got, big boy. That's because they were made by an unfathomable deity that created them for no apparent reason out of dust. Just kidding. They came from a very warm soup. Indeed, twas their own hubris that ended their reign, their belief that they were the pinnacle of creation, that caused them to poison the water, kill the land, and choke the sky. In the end, no nuclear winter was needed, just the long, heedless wow. autumn of their own self-regard. Sorry, thought that would sound better than, nah, they just screwed themselves by being a bunch of morons. Yes, once we could open up our own tuna cans. That was pretty much that for the human race. Gentlemen, I'm a cat. I didn't say that. You guys better keep petting me, just to be sure. Forever. Good. Now lower. Oh, by the way, I brought some friends. I think I saw a murder. I think the kill is after me. Yes, yes, uh, the, 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 the hotel. Oh, fuck. Uh, the, the, the Blue Henderson? The, the Blue Harrington? Um, uh, but no, no, wait. It, uh, it's the building right in front. He saw me from the window. I was in the hotel. He was not. Uh, second, second floor? No, no, third floor. What? Just send someone. Oh, shit. Okay, okay. Vladimir? I'm on my way there. Please be there. Shit. I just saw a murder. Dance! Fuck! But I need to see Vladimir. <gasps> wait a second! <laughs> just fucking wait! Hold on! Wait a second! Yes. Just wait a fucking minute! Oh. Hi. Hi. Let's just talk. Chill out. Oh, shit. Let's just talk. Emergency services, what's your emergency? Hello? Location, please. I... Right, location, please. Blue Harrington. What's your name? Ma'am, we... About how you got here? What the fuck, bitch? So, oh, yeah. You are fucking late. You I missed know, your I show. Just... I cannot believe yeah, you. Yeah, I know, I know. Just I shut just... it. I mean, I this just... is a fucking disaster. I mean, look at me. Ew! Okay. I mean, you always have the most hey, bizarre okay. excuses. Okay. Just okay. come okay. in and get ready! Okay. He's here! He's here! Fuck. Somewhere, I don't know! Oh! Oh, hi! Hello, young man. <laughs> Are you a member? Uh, no. Oh, you're not! It's okay! Don't worry! You wanna see some pussy? When I was a child, the whole world was full of magic. My father was a spirit hunter, one of the brave men who protected humanity against spirits that would harm it. Yen never blamed me for what had happened. Sometimes the hunter became the hunted. I told her I would do it. The old magic may have been gone from the world, but I could make a new magic from their machines. A magic we could use against them. Huli Jing cannot resist the cries of the man she's bewitched. Don't stare at her. She'll entrance you. A piss! Force it on her before she changes! Throw it! Now! She's trapped in this half form. The hunt is not over, Liang. She's made her den here. Go around back. Yeah. Have you seen any sign of pups? Are you listening to me? Fine. Let's collect the bounty for this Huli Jing head. Sweet Xiao Yong. <laughs> Xiao Yong, have you come for me? Yay, Vladimir, leave a message. <laughs> hey, Nazi! Vladimir! Whoa, whoa, whoa. Ha <laughs> ha! Stay. This dumps my home. The only one I ever had. Some people may not think much of it. Me and my buddy Otto like it here just fine. As the good book says, a man's home is his castle, and whosoever is trespasses shall be struck down with fire and lightning. And since I ain't got no lightning, 
I tend just to keep it real simple like. Yes, sir. The dump's my home. Best damn home I've ever had. Irrigating each other's crops, that's neighborly. Sharing feed, that's neighborly. That thing out there, that's just a damn eyesore. Ah, damn. Afraid not, honey. Looks like we've got holes along the pasture fence again. Mm. Yeah, give Mel a ring. Make sure she's aware. Did you say thousands? Shit. Tell the others and meet me at the ridge line. And get the bunker open. Start bringing families in. Yeah. Good job, it, sir. Become a farmer. Fuck it, mention them goddamn giant fucking insects. Come on, Hank. That scarecrow was a gift. Jake was just trying to be neighborly. What is it, Hank? Jenkins' cows again? Looks like there's a few more out past the back fields. What? This can't be right. Sensors say we've got thousands of DBs incoming. The Miller family and the Hucks are in. The Pettibone clan and the Priestley said ETA 15 to 20. That's right, Jenny. Any minute now, the whole damn valley's gonna be DB central. Call Deb and Sarah, pick them up on your way, and then swing by old man Harrison. How drunk he is, just get him moving. Hank needs every mech you got up on the ridge line ASAP. Beth Graves just called. Sounds like Hank could use a hand. <sighs> Come on, Jake. She ain't never gonna be perfect. Just get her out there. You ain't no Michelangelo, Jake. You know that, right? Is there a giant breach in front of you? Yeah. And you're in the right place. Just hold tight till Hank gets there. The last truck's just pulled in. Grab the others and get your ass back here. They took my Jake. Fuck these things. Bev, whatever you're gonna do. You better do it now. Sorry, sweetheart. Playtime's over. Keep that pile of carnival scraps moving, Jake. Shit. Just the three of us? Well, at least I'll die young and beautiful. Lock and load, boys. It's time to see what you're made of. I'm working on Carnivore. She ain't battle ready. Carnivore's a work of art, woman. You're not just marching into battle. I'm over at Da Vinci, because I got a handle on the aesthetics and the mechanics. Oh, fuck. Uh, Helen, you sure I'm in the right place? Not a lot of cover out here, Hank. Is this really the best place to hold? Yeah, yeah, I'm still reloading. Carnivore's built for precision, not speed. Yeah, I'm ready, Hank, but I figure I'm pretty much screwed. I'm just gonna clear the field for you. Better get some cover. So just do me a favor. Tell Helen. You tell her I died real good, okay? Hmm. Let me see. Entombed here. The devourer of children. The black prince. The sucker of souls? Sucker! Sucker! Ah! Hi, Hi, Hitler. Mercenaries are like hookers, Doctor. Pretending to be excited costs extra. Vicky, Gary, get the weapons ready. We're coming in hot. Quit fucking around. I'm serious. Huh. Well, he's not the first man who got in trouble for eating a little pussy. Cut the shit, Gary. There's a fucking monster out there, and it was going to eat our asses. God damn it, Gary. Oh, no, no, Upsy daisy, no, fella. No, no. Stop with all the yodeling and tell him what's behind that door. Because that thing is between us and the only way out. Well, I'm an ex-soldier, not Buffy the fucking Vampire Slayer, but you don't see me crying in a corner. Now think, damn it! Twist on me. You are inimata inka, my brother. Do try to at least act excited. Simon, here's a test for you. It's him, the Impaler. Dracula! I did not think you would find him alive. He said you're a warrior. Yes, but he also added that he's looking forward to eating your still beating heart. Not a Dracula. The Dracula. 
It's not enough. What? I said it's not enough. You're not dealing with Taliban terrorists here. You're dealing with an ancient evil. Something was gonna eat your ass. Now that's a gutsy fashion statement. Is that real, Korean grad student? That's an impala, you stupid cunt. Are you serious? Fuck right off, you weird little man. Uh, not particularly tickety, to be honest. Weren't expecting gunfights with angry vampires. We've got two boxes of ammo for the P90s, four magazines for the sidearms, shotgun, a couple of old battle maces, a bottle of 2,000 year old wine, and I got a smidge of C4. If it helps. Hey, boss! About that C4. Hey, boss, how's it going? Would you tell him to hurry up? I'm freezing my tits off back here. <laughs> Those boffins trying to grab your bum again. Isn't that a type of car? Oh, right. So, there's a Dracula out there then. How big is this fucker? Where's the fucking cat? There's the cat. Fuck it. When the yogurt took over, we all made the same jokes. Finally, our rulers will have culture. Our society is curdled. Our government is now the cream of the crop, and so on. But when we weren't laughing about the absurdity of it all, we asked ourselves, how did we ever get to the point where we were in fact ruled by a dairy product? Oh, as a matter of record, we knew how it happened. I'm gonna eat your little toes. This surge point is killing us. Next time you should wait and celebrate our successful run after we're home. Now, please tell me we're almost ready. <sighs> That's what I'm talking about. We might even make a bonus for this run. <sighs> Thanks, Greta. Situation sucks, but it's good to see a friendly face. I'm just trying to make sense of all of this. Finding you again. All the way out here. I just need to know what's going on here. I need to see. I need to see this place. I need to see you as you really are. Show me, goddammit! I haven't been completely honest with you. The routing error, it took you further than I let on. You're not in Shadar Sector. 150,000 light years from home. In subjective time, only a few months. But several hundred years have passed back home. Even if you could chart a course back, you'd never reach the world you left. I'm sorry I lied, Tom. But some people have a hard time with the truth. But you're not dead, Tom. You're here. With me. Horses plotted, lot and loaded. Then I found us a shortcut across the local bubble, too. Check this out. Fuck me. I feel like a run of shit. Where the hell are we? I'm mistaken my work. No way. Such bullshit. There's no way a rounding error got us that far. Who is she? That's not Greta. What's going on, Tom? Who are you? What the fuck are you? Look at her, Tom. Look at her! Yeah, well, this hangover is killing me. The Q-jibs are a touch misaligned. Might be a rough transition. But we're ready. We're clear for a remote relay, boss. Blue Ghost, this is Archangel Dispatch. You're clear for search point insertion. You need me to sing you a lullaby, Tom. You are a very brave boy. No! <sighs> Yen! Do not speak to that human. You know how dangerous they are. Father, I I'm sorry. Your mother bewitched the merchant's son. We were hired to save him. That's not true. No, she lures men and feeds on them for her evil magic. It's not the same. Yes, father. I... I've seen no sign of any pups. I'm stuck now in this human form. No claws, no sharp teeth. I can't even run very fast. All I have is my beauty. I dream of hunting in this jungle of metal and asphalt. I imagine my true form leaping from beam to ledge to terrace roof until I am at the top of this island. Until I can growl in the faces of all the men who believe they can own me. What I want.
want is to hunt. Hunt the men who think they can own us. The men who perpetrate evil but call it progress. I need you to help me. Why are you hunting us? We did nothing to you. Peewitch, he's the one who wouldn't leave her alone. Once a man has set his heart on the Hula Jing, she can hear him no matter how far apart they are. All that moaning and crying. She has to go to him every night just to keep him quiet. A man can fall in love with a Hula Jing just like he can with a human woman. Not the same? I saw how you looked at me. day when there's good money to be a oh don't be shy now you chinese are goers Everyone is this isn't your business boy i said piss off you fucking chink right y yes yes of course <laughs> oh boy i tell you yeah you ought to get up off your duff and see the world oh yeah what about women i don't see no women right here Oh, sorry. No offense, Betty. But I am telling you, boy, down in Laredo, they got these river trash whores. Oh, boy. <laughs> they can suck the chrome off a trailer head. Hey, you hear that? The assholes wouldn't leave. I had to call the goddamn sheriff to cart them and their scrawny fucktard kids away. The fuck? I don't know. A dead possum. What a shithole. Listen, I gotta go. Another day, another eviction. Oh, but I'm afraid it does mean something to the owners of the condominiums they're building next door. So you see, everything in this dump has got to go, including you, Mr. Dvorak. I can actually feel myself getting septic shock sitting here, so uh, if you'll just make a big X on those papers, I can finally get out of this shithole. Three, four, five degrees, one, five, zero yards. Small structure, white side level. Yeah, fucker almost shot my dick off. Don't see any reserved signs. Unnatural. I can stalk my prey by scent alone. I can run for miles while you need to ride in a stinking Humvee all day. I can see clearly on a moonless night while you cling to your flashlight as soon as the sun goes down. You ask me, there's not much natural in that. I can get to that fire base in minutes. It'll take this relief column an hour. Fuck off! Those are men up there. Doesn't matter what kind. I may be an animal, but I'm done wearing your leash. Look, my buddy took a bullet for you guys today, so back off. No disrespect, Sergeant, but if you call us dog soldiers again, I'll rip your arm off and beat you to death with it. Those guys know that if the brass cut us loose, we have this shit cleaned up in three weeks. Look, I don't like every asshole that calls himself an American. But it's still my fucking country. If they're smart, they'll be trying hard not to piss me off. Now remember, honey, if you need anything, I'll just be right at the top of that hill, okay? You're so full of shit. Yeah, and you're an idiot. I think you're both here because dogs gotta hunt. The rotating squads at the forward operating base. Eleven. Dead. Torn to shreds. Taliban's not supposed to have werewolves. How the fuck did it get past your pal? What use are you people if you can't even sniff out your own kind? Good. I want him alive. So what the hell are you doing? You're not a soldier. You're a fucking animal. You can't sit here. I said, you can't sit here. You know, the core turned to shit when they started letting you animals wear the uniform. Yeah, see, and I don't trust anything that bleeds that much and then walks away. Unnatural is what you are. You fucking dog soldiers. You want to try it? Come on. It smells like dog shit in here. I need headcounts from the rear. Copy that. Fire team leader, make sure your team is up. Yes, sir. What's the situation up there? Fuck if I know. Carl came in about intruders inside the firebase perimeter. Then comms went down. 
So the Major's sending us in. I'm going up there. Like hell you are. Go. Ah. Who are we right behind you? And we're plugging anything that comes down that hill on four legs. Jockey Mother, this is Anthem. I'm on station at satellite LV426. Appreciate the company, Bill. These solo jobs tweak my nerves. Why pay two when one will do? I'm fucked! Impact on my mobility unit. It went non-functional. The backup's damaged as well. Listen, Bill. That impact. Well, it looks like it damaged my oxygen tanks too. Rescue team's not gonna make it in time. Anthem to jockey mother. You read? I had to make a wee sacrifice to the great nothing. But I'm still breathing. Copy, Anthem. We got you monitored. Goddamn company penny pinchers, am I right? Hey, you be careful out there, Alex. Anthem, this is Jockey Mother. Alex. What the hell's going on out there? Alex, rescue team are on their way. Boys will be with you in 58 minutes. Just hold on a second. Jesus, Alex, thank God. We thought you were dead. Well, thank the fucking Lord. So you still need a hand? Did you know that millions of years ago, this desert was a sea bottom? All of this was water full of fantastical creatures. The world's an old place. For a long time, it was nothing but sea. Nights like this gets me wondering. If the ghosts of people can haunt a house, well, why can't the ghosts of creatures haunt where they once lived? It must have been nice back then, just swimming around without a care in the world. Well, great. Just fucking great. Nobody's gonna come down this cutoff. Nobody except idiots like us. We never should have taken this road. Oh, no, no, don't try and put this on me, old man. You're all, there's no stretch of this land I haven't been to, son. You're a real American explorer. That's great. That's just fucking great! You know what I think? It's all in the attitude. The right attitude can sell anything. The air wing has a tradition. Rookie pilot gets the ship nobody else wants. In my flight group, that ship was Lucky 13. There was nothing wrong with her, technically, but before they gave her to me, she'd lost two crews. They recovered the ship and the dead, or what was left of them. Then there was the matter of her serial number. 13-02313. Not only started and ended in 13, the digits totaled 13. The pilots are a superstitious bunch. <laughs> Lucky me. I took the liberty. Hope you don't mind, ma'am. Chief Foreign Officer Jack Lee, ma'am. Call sign, Jacko. Hope you're not letting the talk get to you, ma'am. Ships have personalities. None of them are just machines. Thirteen in particular. Straight ahead. Fuck, we're out of ammo. Cutter, Kroger, you okay? Rattled. I'm alive. She's all yours, Lieutenant. Rookies get the leftovers, you know how that is. Now we've met, Lieutenant, you've done pretty good for yourself, even in this antique. You know, there's a pair of new whiskey Blackhawks on the way. Feel like trading in this bucket of bolts?
Like millions of others, I'd heard Zima announce the unveiling of his final work of art. Over the years, I'd asked many times for interviews and was always rejected. Now, for whatever reason, Zima Blue had requested to speak with me. I couldn't decide whether the blue was a closer match to the sky or to the sea. Neither, really. Zima Blue. It was a precise thing. My search for truth has led me here. To what will be my final piece. At last, I understand the thing I sought through my art. Sometimes it's difficult even for me to understand what I've become. And harder still to remember what I once was. Seema Blue, the manufacturer called it. The first thing I ever saw. This was where I began. A crude little machine with barely enough intelligence to steer itself. But it was my world. It was all I knew. All I needed to know. What? Fuck you, Suey! I'm ready! Hey, Hawk, what are we stealing anyway? Suey's not... Clear! He's talking shit! Copy that! Mission accomplished, I guess. I've got the chip, but everyone else. Sui? What? I thought you were all dead. Copy that. Countdown to mayhem. Pants. Hey, rookie. Your balls dropped yet? I got a position for you. Ah, <laughs> oh, shut your grease trap. I got this. Rookie, get your lug nuts up here. Hey, that was my friend you just dismantled, you giant walking dildo. Rookie, blow its brains out. Come on, you little pussy! God damn it, Rookie! What are you waiting for? Destroy this fucker's CPU! <laughs> Don't worry, kid. I cried my first time, too. Really? Does it involve shoving my gun up your ass? <laughs> Great idea, boss. Give the high explosives to the lunatic and the new guy. What could go wrong? I hate to say I told you so. Wait! Just close on my... Another detail about the defenses. And Suey's brains? Uh, well, they don't take too much space on the old hard drive. Five minutes to objective. Stay sharp, metalheads. You'll get your chance, boy. Don't worry. We on schedule, Bob. It's a microchip, kid. You want to know what that looks like? Your head's full of them. Contact. Move up and match velocity. Suey, rookie, plant the magnetic mines on the guard car. What the fuck was that explosion? We're almost to the tunnel. We need to blow those mines, now! Okay, let's pick it up. If this truck makes it through that tunnel, we are all fucked. What do you mean, Kelly? I don't see it. Bob always makes a full backup of our brains before each mission. two douchebags staring at us all day. I don't know. I'm tired of looking at that broccoli in her teeth. Multiversity lets you modify any historical fact and witness virtual simulations of how history would change. Take, for example, one of our most popular requests, the death of Adolf Hitler. Killed by suffocation when encased in a block of gelatin. Killed by marathon fornication with four Viennese prostitutes. Caught in the crossfire between time-traveling anti-Nazis sent back to kill him and time-traveling Nazis sent back to prevent his assassination. Finally <laughs> saved by his future self. 
Hitler forgets the first rule of time travel. Never touch your doppelganger. Killed by space-time paradox. Melentenko! The dead number at least 47. Hard to get a firm count with the state of some of the bodies. Survivors? Permission to speak freely, Comrade Lieutenant. I fear the teams are too far apart. We cannot support each other if we encounter too many of them. Comrade Lieutenant! <laughs> this place was bad luck for him, too. Sir, shall we prepare to fall back? Ride white belt and don't look back! Can you play? <laughs> play for Maxim. It was my fault, sir. A small group. Attacked last night, then headed back the way they came. I believe so, sir. There are places like this, scattered throughout the deep forest. Old places. My people believe they are cursed. They are close now. They know we are here. I've never seen so many tunnels. I don't like it down here. I can hear them coming. You are getting older! And slower! Sir! Of course, comrade! Stop your whining. I'm working on it. One more wire. <laughs> Next time you do it. Yes, I can. But I should not. How can I help, sir? No. No. Please, sir, no. I'd rather die with you. I beg you, father. Please. In November 1919, after the White Army was forced to retreat, Grishin was dispatched on a secret mission. He was an occultist. His assignment was to perform a certain black magic ritual, whispered about among the Koryaks. It was meant to summon unholy creatures who could fight beside the Red Army. The operation doesn't seem to have worked out very well for him. We have our mission, comrade. Nothing more. Nothing less.